This is a message to all eligible voters and politicians in Canada. First, to the voters. Honey, it is your time to act on May 14th. The results of the last election show that just over half the eligible voters voted. And, well, we ended up with what we ended up with. If you voted, awesome. If you didn't vote, and you're amongst the magnitude of whiners out there who are not happy with the current government and their second term in Parliament, I really don't see where you're coming from. To me, you have no one to blame but yourself. If you want to be counted, vote for crying out loud. There are advanced polling stations going on right now, so you don't have to wait till May 14th to vote. Just bring your ID and a piece of mail with your current address on it, go to a polling station in your area, and vote. Don't know what to vote for? Look on the internet for the list of politicians and their mandates. It's not hard to do. You know how to use Google, right? Want to spoil your vote or not vote at all? Do you realize spoiled votes don't count? In this day and age, we have no excuse for being that unknowledgeable. And as Rick Mercer states, All the major parties have well-publicized plans to target the ethnic vote, the women's vote, the blue-collar vote, the corporate vote. If there were more than five paraplegic lesbian Inuit women in Labrador, they would be a target. Everyone is targeted except for one group, the youth vote. There are more than three million young eligible voters in this country, and as far as any of the political parties are concerned, you might as well all be dead. I would rather have some mellow dreadlocked hippie rolling a joint in Parliament with a bag of cheesies and a mason jar of quinoa representing me than the options we are given. And finally, to our Canadian politicians, I have just a few words to say to you. Grow up. Know your freaking audience. What are you willing to actually promise us and follow through with that will make us run out of our houses and vote for you and not regret it? Did you know that approximately 80% of Canadians are cancelling their cable subscriptions and turning to the internet for their entertainment, their news, and for social media? I suggest you get on that bandwagon so that you get a little bit of a piece of what you're doing to us and how you can rectify some of the issues that are currently happening in Canada. Parodies of yourself are charming and smart. But please don't follow it up with a smear ad. You need to focus on us. All we see is one politician trying to discredit another. Canada is not an elementary playground. We have a rich history and we've been through enough these past years to crave the positive. 